Pirates hosting the Rangers, and the Rangers are minus 170 on the money line. The Pirates are plus 140. The over-under, eight runs. The Rangers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. And the Pirates getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Ivaldi did not pitch last year or this year against the Pirates. And Hill did pitch against the Rangers last year. It was a member of the uh, Red Sox. Six innings, three runs, two earned. They won that game 11 to three. That was in Texas. Four innings, four runs, four earned. They won that game nine to eight. And I believe that was in Boston. Now, the Rangers are five and four as a team with Evaldi on the mound. He's averaging six and two thirds innings pitched and 6.8 strikeouts per game in those games. So a batter an inning. The Pirates are... Are five and four as a team with Hill on the mound. Five innings pitched, he's averaging in the games and four strikeouts per game, or 4.8 strikeouts per game in those games. So almost a batter an inning because I know there are some sites that offer will there be a strikeout in this inning. So that's why I like to throw that little pitcher stat in. Now, head to head, the road team is six and four. The Pirates are seven and three against the Rangers in their last 10. The underdog has won the last two games they played against each other. The underdog is seven and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two. They have only been two one run games in their last 10 meetings. The underdog being so well on the run line is because when the underdog wins, obviously getting a run and a half wins. The over is hit in their last four games. The over is seven and three. And the over eight runs specifically is eight, one, and one in their last 10 meetings. The game they played yesterday, the Pirates won six to four. And then the game before that, the Rangers won nine, six. The game before that, the Pirates won five to four. And their last handful of games overall, the Rangers are six and four in their last 10. The Pirates snapped their three game winning streak. They are three and one in their last four. Nine runs, 16 runs. 16 runs and 10 runs, seven runs and a win, 11 runs and a win, 13 runs and a win. All of those games were against the Rockies and then four runs and a loss to the Pirates yesterday. For the Pirates, they are two and two in their last four and four and six in their last 10. 16 runs, seven runs, 11 runs and 10 runs, 13 runs and a win, back to back three run losses. All of those were to the D-backs and then six runs and a win against the Rangers. I don't know what it is or why the Pirates play so well when they play against the Rangers. I don't think with this specific pitching matchup, this is going to be the game that the Pirates win. I do think that it'll probably be a one-run game. I don't know why. It's just a funny feeling. I'm going to take the Rangers with the money line. I'm going to take the Pirates getting the runs. And I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.